details into the elder abuse investigation at a Castro Valley nursing home. When you walked in, you would, if, if you walked into a care facility that looked like that, you'd say, okay, something's not right here. The Valley Manor care facility shut down after violations were found. And we are learning more about the alleged neglect of residents at a Castro Valley nursing home. Also that a resident who was staying there is missing. The Alameda County Sheriff's Department has wrapped up a news conference and Crown Force J.R. Stone is following the latest developments. He joins us live. J.R., what do we know about the missing man? Well, Catherine, the sheriff's office says that he has left before. Nevertheless, he left on Friday amidst the chaos at the care home directly behind me. Now, I do want to go to some of the video because in it you can see exactly who I'm talking about. Edmund Bascom is the man that I'm talking about, one of more than a dozen patients left here when he walked off on Friday, a day after the official closing date. Bascom is 64 years old and doesn't have much money. He hasn't been seen for five days. Now, the Alameda County Sheriff's Office says that Bascom and other patients were there for a week with a limited number of employees. Many employees stopped working not this past Friday, but the Friday before. The fire department was here four times from Thursday through Saturday on patient calls. They didn't realize it was closed until Saturday because of a sign that wasn't seen. There was a cook and a caretaker. Those were the only two employees left with what started on Saturday as 13 patients. By Saturday, when you walked in, you would, if, if you walked into a care facility that looked like that, you'd say, okay, something's not right here. And that's kind of the way things were going. It just was, it was just really starting to unravel on those two guys that were left. Now, as for the owners, the lawyer tells me they just ran out of money. Now, could these owners face criminal charges? That is a question that they are looking at during this criminal investigation. A number of local, state, and federal authorities looking at this case tomorrow morning. For now, reporting live in Castro Valley, J.R. Stone, Cron 4 News. And continuing our team coverage, Cron Force Teresa Stasio talked to a cook who reportedly stayed behind to care for the nearly 20 residents at the home after everyone took off. Maurice Rowland says that when the State Department announced that it was going to be shutting down the nursing home here where he worked at Valley Springs Manor, he said that he assumed that the elderly residents would be safely transported to another facility. But when that didn't happen, he says he felt compelled to stay and watch over them. It was, it was tough. Well, I, I, I did call 911 and about, uh, I think about four or five times for four or five different residents. It started slowing down because, you know, lack of them not getting their medications and getting the medications on time. So, and like, uh, I guess from me calling 911 so much, then they just finally like figured it out, like what's going on here. and. And then they finally just came and started asking questions, and that's how they found out about everything what was going on. But why did you stay? Well, I just couldn't see myself just leaving the residents in there. Like I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't do that. And maybe they would have tried to cook for themselves and burn the whole place up, or I just couldn't have that on my conscience. So you weren't getting paid, but you stayed. Yeah. Rowland says that when he finally got home after being awake for days, he says that he came home and he slept for nearly two days, feeling very good that he did the right thing. And Hayward Teresa Stasio, Cron for News.